I put all my eggs in the Shelly basket. I put all my chips on Spam. Mm. That's good. I see where you're going with that. Kind of a spin on the masubi. Meats like a sushi. It's delicious. Maybe the cut on the Spam was a little wrong for the bite itself, but that was, that was really good. Everything's right on me right now. It's my plate, my taste, and if I taste the worst, that means our mentor, Marcus, is going to have to choose one of us to go home. And, you know, ultimately, that's because of me. That's good, too. That feels like a gumbo. Feels Southeast Asian, but it tastes like something I've never really had before. A um, little strong on the yuzu, I think. A little strong on it. It may not be all technically perfect, but this is good. And, you know, it's all about the taste at the end of the day. The problem with this already is construction. The sauce goes well with the dish. I don't know if I necessarily understand the components together, though. I am slightly thrown by the fact that he thinks that it's an odd combination. You know, fish and chips is really the earliest street food. It would be awesome to win uh, Roy Choice help. You know, it just comes down to whose dish is better. I want to be the Bodan so bad. So bad, you have no idea. It's a good slider. Great flavor, good acidity, nice crunch inside. Only thing I would say on this is the, um, the bread's not right. Falling apart is dry. Everything else is so juicy, but the bread. These are four crazy, crazy, delicious dishes, but I gotta reveal to you guys what I like the best. So, the one bite that I felt really captured me was Anthony's Kitchen. I felt like, all right, we have a connection. I was like, you and me, we're on the same page. Oh, 